Good morning, folks. That thing coming in from the left side is the stereo anomaly about which we all clamored for 24 hours. Except one thing. This was taken 11 and a half months ago by Stereo A. Solar orbiting satellites see objects about once a year as they make a full turn around the sun, and with Stereo A speedier than Earth, it takes a little less than 12 months. Even with the current images unprocessed and grainy, you can see that this is that same object. If you are yet unconvinced, the HI-1 from this time last year showing a bright galactic cluster bottom right and the grainy unprocessed images from this year clearly showing that bright cluster coming in as well. Top story today is a new study indicating that earthquakes can trigger massive methane releases. In addition to the topic and related discourse of this article being on point, it declares the necessity of factoring in this methane with volcanic gases and others to explain a larger chunk of climate change. Hawaii? Good news and bad. Flossie's still coming, but she may have exhaled a bit just as she's going to swipe past. Let's hope she stays like that. Meanwhile, Dorian's remnants trying to make a go of it once more. Southwest Pacific sees the same story with the weather of worry sticking south. The low threw it in gear over Europe and dropped hail in Germany as it tore across the continent in the last 24 hours. The U.S. East Coast shattered one-day rain records yesterday in many locales. Just when it appeared to be over, another wave would arrive. Philadelphia had over 7 inches of rain. The primary low, however, is central like yesterday, putting that counterclockwise inward drive to the wind and will make some bad weather this evening. Solar wind density and speed are calm and calming further. Flaring, still in a low sea range, but spots are now developing. It's true of the regions turning away, but also up north where a sunspot group was born north of the veteran umbra. South, incoming, we see major development, including central magnetic mixing and delta potential. Last new guy up north, coming in has some growth before we worry. On to space.com scaring the heck out of people and doing so in a way that causes them to ask why I never showed this July 18th Corona hole that they reported July 24th. Here is my July 18th shot of that Corona hole. Here it was on July 16th as it was turning in. Here's our shot from July 11th at the top left corner as the darkness was just cresting under the earth facing disc after I had tracked it coming around the side in red there. Coming to today, and the top green coronal hole we've tracked for over a week is now set to be center disk this week. It does not extend transequatorially, so until we see foreshock activity or energetic disturbances at Earth, the quake watch due to this coronal hole will be minor. We also got umbral openings turning in down south, plasma filaments laughing at the sun's gravity as they dance above the photosphere, and the birth of a sunspot. Eyes open. No fear at 6.50 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Be safe, everyone.